hello out there welcome to this tutorial on the cylinder in this video we'll be looking at properties net surface area volume and capacity of a cylinder so we take the first item properties of a cylinder a cylinder is a three-dimensional solid shape it has three faces the top and bottom circular faces of the same size and the curved surface the two circular faces are parallel to each other it has two curved edges and no vertices so we look at the diagram here the two circular faces this is the top circular face the bottom circular face and the curved surface where these one and these are the curved edges so we go to the next item the net of a cylinder if a cylinder is dismantled and separated into its components we will have two circles from the circular faces and a rectangle from the curved surface this is shown in the diagram below we have the top circular face the bottom circular face and the curved surface which is in the form of a rectangle for your information the length of this rectangle is the circumference of the circle while this is the height of the cylinder so we go to the next item the surface area of a cylinder given the cylinder below with height h units and radius r units we have the cylinder height h and radius r the radius of the cylinder is the radius of the circular faces so the area of the top circular face which is a circle is pi r squared and the area of the bottom circular face is also a circle of pi r squared then the area of the curved surface the rectangle represents the curved surface of the cylinder and to calculate the area of the rectangle which represents the area of the curved surface we say the length of the rectangle is the circumference of a circle which is 2 pi r then multiplied by the breadth of the rectangle which is the height of this uh, cylinder so giving us 2 pi r h where the 2 pi r represented the length of the rectangle and the breadth is the height so that is it so the total surface area now is the area of the top circular face plus the area of the bottom circular face then plus the area of the curved surface which will give us 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h the 2 pi r squared is coming from the circular faces so and the 2 pi r h comes from the curved surface this can be factorized since 2 pi r is common so we have it as 2 pi r into r plus h so that represents the total surface area of any solid cylinder that is closed at both ends if it is closed at one end so you know we are only interested in the one circular base then plus the curved surface that's going to give us by r squared plus 2 pi r h if it is open at both ends that is a hollow cylindrical object or a cylindrical pipe which is open at both ends to calculate the surface area is just the curved surface area which is 2 pi r h so we go to the next item which is volume and capacity of a cylinder we are combining both the volume and capacity because they are related so still maintaining the same uh, cylinder of height h units and radius r units the volume of a cylinder is base area multiplied by the height you know in general the volume of any shape is the area of the base multiplied by the height in this case the base here is a circle which is pi r squared then multiplied by the height that gives the formula for finding the volume of any cylinder 
of height h and radius r then the capacity now um depending on the unit we are using so the common unit we are going to be using here is centimeters and uh, meters so if the volume is measured in cubic centimeters to calculate the capacity of the cylinder we said the volume in cubic centimeters divide by 1000 since 1000 cubic centimeters is equal to one liter so that will give us in liter and if the volume is given in meter cube it will be multiplied by 1000 liters and that is all now we go ahead now to calculate area volume and capacity of a cylinder that will take us to the first problem the first problem calculate the total surface area of a solid cylindrical object of height 13 centimeters and diameter 14 centimeters take pi equal to 22 over 7 so in solution to this problem we are looking for the total surface area since it is a solid cylindrical object so we have our total surface area to be 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h which we factorize to give us 2 pi r into r plus h we then substitute in the values of pi r and uh, h so we have 2 over 1 pi is 22 over 7 our radius is going to be 14 divided by 2 which is 7 over 1 into 7 plus the height which is 13 so this 7 cancels this 7 2 times 22 gives 44 and 7 plus 13 gives 20 so that's going to be 44 times 20 i can easily say 44 times 2 which is 88 then i add the 0 which gives the total surface area of the cylindrical object as 880 squared centimeters and that's the end of solution to problem one we go to problem two for problem two a cardboard paper is to be used to make a cylinder of height 18 centimeters and radius 10 centimeters take pi equal to 22 over 7 calculate the area of the cardboard that will be used to make a a closed cylinder b cylinder with one end open and the solution to this problem to calculate the area of cardboard paper that will be used to make a closed cylinder we'll be calculating the total surface area of a cylinder with both ends closed so that will still give us 2 pi r into r plus h substituting in the values of pi r and h we have it as 2 over 1 times 22 over 7 times the radius which is 10 into 10 plus 18 so since 7 cannot divide any of these numbers so we have 2 times 22 which will give us a 44 over 7 times 10 over 1 times 28 over 1 so from here 7 goes into 7 gives 1 28 divided by 7 gives 4 and uh, 44 times 4 will give us 176 we just add a 0 it will now give us 1760 squared centimeters which is the area of the cardboard paper that will be used to make a closed cylinder and now to the b part of the problem the area of cardboard paper that would be used to make a cylinder with one end open so we are going to have it as the one end that is closed is a circle of pi r squared plus the curve surface area so we factorize it as pi r into r plus 2h and uh, that will now be equal to 22 over 7 times 10 into 10 plus 
36 since 2h is 2 times 18 which gives 36 that will give us uh, 22 over 7 times 10 times 46 over 1 um, we can easily multiply this and this add the 0 then divide by 7 that's 22 times 46 46 times 2 is 92 then I bring down the 92 again diagonally leaving one digit so we can then add this is a mental arithmetic method of multiplication so this is 2 11 write 1 carry 1 this is a 10 so 22 times 10 times 46 will give us 10,120 by multiplying by this 10 over 7 10 divided by 7 gives a 1 remainder 3 so in 31 will give us a 4 remainder 3 also in 32 will still give us a 4 remainder 4 that will be in 40 will give us 5 remainder 5 over 7 squared centimeters so we have calculated the area of the cardboard paper that will be used to make a cylinder with one end open and that's the end of the solution to problem 2 we go to problem 3 problem 3 calculate the volume of a cylindrical wooden bar of radius 20 centimeters and 0 0.5 meters long take pi to be 3.14 um, to find the solution we are looking for volume of the wooden bar which is pi r squared h and we now substitute in the value of pi to be 3.14 and the radius our radius is 20 so we have a 20 squared multiply by the height the height is given as 0 0.5 meters so we convert it to centimeters because we must work in the same units this either you work purely in meters or you work purely in centimeters but it is advisable you work with the smaller units so multiplying by 100 that will give us multiply by 50 and uh, from here this is 3.14 to 20 squared is 400 times 50 this is 3.14 4 times 5 is 20 that will give us 20,000 then multiplying this I have four zeros here I have two decimal places I will remove two zeros I remove the decimal point multiplying by two I will have 628 then I add the remaining two zeros cubic centimeters which represents the volume of the wooden bar in cubic centimeters and that's the end of the solution to problem three we go to problem four for problem four a cylindrical drum is 2.8 meters high and one meters in radius calculate its a volume in cubic meters b capacity in liters take pi to be 22 over 7 so in our solution we are to calculate the volume which is pi r squared h substituting in the value of pi r and h we have 22 over 7 and our r is 1 so times 1 squared and the height is 2.8 meters so that's 2.8 meters over 1 and that will give us 22 over 7 times 2.8 so 7 goes here 1 7 goes into 2.8 we give us 0 0.4 and uh, 22 times 0 0.4 I can say 22 times 4 which is 88 since this is one decimal place so place the decimal point between the eight so we have it as 8.8 .8 meters cube which represents the volume of the cylindrical drum now the capacity of the drum is going to be volume in meter cube times 1000 liters which is 8.8 .8 times 1000 
which gives 8,800 liters. And that's the end of solution to problem four. We go to problem five. For problem five, the curved surface area of a cylindrical steel bar of radius 3.5 centimeters is 220 squared centimeters. So calculate the A height, B volume of the bar. Now, we are given the curved surface area and the radius, we need to calculate the height. So we know that the curved surface area of the bar is 2 pi rh and we now substitute in the value of 220 for curved surface area, the radius to be 3.5 and the pi 22 over 7, then we now find the value of h from there. So 220 is equal to 2 times 22 over 7 times 35 over 10. I have converted this to fraction, though not in the simplest form, then multiply by the height, which is the item we are looking for in the formula. Now, 7 goes here, 1, 7 goes into 35, gives 5, 5 goes into 10, gives 2, 5 goes into 5 here, gives 1, these 2 cancels these 2. I am left with 22h is equal to 220. Dividing both sides by 22, h is equal to 220 divided by 22, which gives 10 centimeters. So we have calculated the height of the cylinder. We go ahead to calculate the volume of the bar. So the volume of the bar is by r squared h, that is 22 over 7 times 35 over 10 times 35 over 10 times 10 over 1 that is the height of the cylinder the 10 here cancel this 10 um, 7 here gives 1 7 here gives uh, 5 5 goes into 10 gives 2 5 goes into 5 gives 1 2 here and uh, 2 goes into 22 gives 11 so 35 times 11 will give me 385 cubic centimeters which represent the volume of the cylindrical steel bar and that's the end of solution to problem five we go to problem six problem six a metallic cylindrical rod is 0 0.7 meters long and 14 centimeters in diameter calculate the a surface area in squared centimeters b volume in cubic centimeters c mass in kilograms of the rod if one cubic centimeter weighs 0 0.3 grams pi equal to 22 over 7. now we start the solution of the problem from a to calculate the total surface area since it is a rod so we have the two circular faces to be 2 pi r into r plus h um that's 2 over 1 our pi is 22 over 7 our radius since the diameter is 14 the radius is 7 over 1 into 7 plus 70 this is 0 0.7 so multiply by 100 gives 70 uh, 7 cancel 7 here 2 times 2 is 44 times 77 so that gives 3388 squared centimeters and that's the solution to problem 6a for 6b um, the volume is pi r squared h that's 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 times 70 over 1. So 7 cancel 7. 22 times 7 is 154 times 70 will give us 10,780 cubic centimeters. And that's the end of solution to be part of the problem. We go to C part of the problem mass is volume times density and since one cubic centimeters weighs 0 0.3 grams therefore 
the density is 0.3 grams per cubic centimeters so to calculate the mass of the cylindrical rod now we have the volume which is 10,780 times 0.3 and that will give us 3,234 grams converting it to kilograms since we are to leave our answer in kilograms dividing by 1,000 because 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram so we have it as 3.234 kilograms and that is the end of solution to problem 6 we go to problem 7 for problem 7 616 liters of water is poured into a drum of diameter 1.7 meters how deep is the water in the drum use the value 22 over 7 for pi uh, to find solution to this problem let's look at the whole thing diagrammatically um, this is the drum of diameter 140 centimeters changing it to centimeters that's 1.4 times 100 and 616 liters of water is poured so we have 616 liters of water into the drum uh, how deep is the water in the drum so we are looking at the height of the water in the drum in this case the volume of water is given to be 616 liters so expressing it as cubic centimeters we have it as 616 times 1000 cubic centimeters which gives 616,000 cubic centimeters we now use this volume to calculate the height so and we know the volume is pi r squared h and our v is 616,000 the radius is 70 dividing 140 by 2 giving 70 and we have to find the h so we have 616,000 equal to 22 over 7 times 70 over 1 times 70 over 1 times h so 7 here 1 7 here 10 and uh, i have one zero in ten one zero in seventy it will remove these two zeros i'll be left with six thousand one sixty then twenty two times seven which is one hundred and fifty four that will now give us h to be six thousand one hundred and sixty divided by one hundred and fifty four and uh, this is 6 here 4 times 4 is 16 20 wow so it goes 4 times so they add 0 that will be 40 so h is 40 centimeters so the height of the water in the drum is 40 centimeters or the water is 40 centimeter deep into the drum so that's the end of solution to problem 7 this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video also remember to subscribe to our youtube channel check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to other solid shapes with respect to their area volume capacity and so on until I come your way again, goodbye.